Uh, hi guys, uh, Vitek here at Nvitronics. Um, I have an update um, regarding um, the device uh, I've been working on lately. Uh, it's a um, replication of um, an old device, uh, over 100 years old. It has been developed uh, uh, by the late 1800 and uh, later on uh, there were dozens of different models built uh, throughout the world. Um, it's my belief that most of these devices uh, built after 1930 um, have um, very little uh, value as um, medical apparatus. Um, people uh, skip what was important and uh, they were basically looking just to uh, quickly make money and sell the products. They are still available um, today. They can be found the old uh, old models, um, and there are a couple companies uh, making um, new version uh, of these devices. Uh, I have no um, a chance to um, test and uh, see what they do, how they work. Um, I, I know some details about the frequencies and uh, the way they are built. Anyway, this is the this is the diagram of one of the old uh, old devices. Uh, one, to, as you probably guess, I'm talking about the uh, violet ray, um, a violet ray device which uh, incorporates uh, a Tesla coil in it. And uh, these uh, early devices, they have mechanical interrupter and uh, that was the entire wand, a handheld wand uh, uh, holding uh, different uh, type of uh, glass tubes filled with uh, uh, with a plain air or uh, in some cases uh, and gases um, they as you see the this was uh, pretty small um, uh, so the the size of the Tesla coil and everything had to fit in um, in a small, quite small handle. Uh, some of the devices they had uh, they had uh, a high voltage source built into the case, kind of like a briefcase, wooden, and uh, like I said, there were plenty of them uh, made. Uh, one of the issues was, um, and due to the to the size and. Uh, the way it operate uh, was an issue of overheating, so the device um, could only be used um, for a short period of time. Um, there were some ridiculous claims um, regarding to some of these devices built uh, later in 20s and 30s and, and so on, and uh, finally FDA stepped in and uh, and uh, regulate uh, what uh, you know, what uh, could be said well actually they pretty much uh, um, branded this as uh, quack medicine and the word descent whatsoever and uh, that's a common uh, common uh, behavior um, anyway I was uh, I was uh, kind of intrigued because I found a similarity between this device and uh, George Lakowski multi-wave oscillator um, so what I what I thought is to replicate um, this device, but using uh, uh, modern viable components, and um, I came up with uh, with a basic circuit which is uh, is being fed from uh, uh, AC mains. Uh, this can also run from a battery, but uh, like these old devices, they were portable and. Uh, so the doctor could travel, and uh, because the electricity was not what it is today, and uh, usually was just a light bulb and a socket, so the doctor could carry this device and was entirely portable. He had a couple volta piles, and, and anyway, uh, the circuit comprised of uh, a main switch fuse, uh, mains filter, and that's the main transformer, 110. Uh, I'm using right now quite small 40 watt transformer. I have a 24 uh, volts AC 
and um, I am feeding this into a regulated um, a stabilized um, power supply which I can regulate the output um, I have a voltmeter so I can monitor my output and uh, another switch uh, which turns on the uh, ZDS or Mazili uh, driver uh, driving uh, modify flyback transformer I I have uh, two times uh, uh, five turns uh, primary and uh, on the output I have uh, double serial uh, spark gap and uh, doorknob capacitor and this goes to the uh, primary of uh, Tesla coil and uh, the output uh, I decide to stick with the uh, frequency uh, actually I was able to get about 880 kilohertz which uh, is the same frequency as um, transmitting uh, uh, coil uh, of uh, George Lakowski uh, multi-wave oscillator and the output is around <coughs> 13 50 kilovolts but of course this will depend on the on the voltage uh, I am feeding um, uh, ZVS uh, driver with <coughs> my uh, primary uh, I use uh, uh, PVC PVC coupler pipe that's uh, uh, 70, 70 millimeters uh, uh, coupler I got six turns 1.6 millimeter wire and uh, it's uh, insulated so with insulation it's actually 3.6 mil and uh, the length on the former is about 25 uh, 25 millimeter secondary I have a standard PVC pipe a pressure pipe 48 millimeter outer diameter around 325 turns uh, the wire is 0.45 millimeter I think that would be around uh, AVG 26 and uh, the length on the former is 140 millimeters uh, uh, inductance is 1.383 millihenries and capacitance 28 uh, picofarads um, I, uh, I knew I'm going to have a loss, I'm going to have a drop due to the added uh, wire and electrode because they will add the inductance and capacitance to the resonant tank so uh, I calculate my um, secondary to resonate and higher so with the load I am getting about 880 kilohertz without I am getting 1.1 uh, megahertz approximately and um, capacitor is 4.7 nanofarads 20 kilovolt doorknob and the spark gap uh, serial double and I have a six millimeter points and um, so that's uh, that's the that's the circuit of it and um, and that's the device I uh, I did with the with the parts of Ayabu and uh, so I was able to reduce the the cost of it I uh, it's a it's a custom made uh, uh, custom made case I I use some bits and pieces of uh, uh, of mahogany and uh, that's my uh, Tesla coil and uh, well I I had a dream once to uh, to make the holder uh, something <laughs> different a holder for a coil I was going to make this for my first um, MWO but I didn't have time and um, so what I did I uh, I just carved my own uh, hand um, in wood and uh, that serves as a as a holder and I have a terminals uh, terminals here and uh, that's the uh, secondary uh, wire uh, the beginning which is uh, grounded to, to the earth ground and uh, that's the output uh, and uh, there is a wire with the extra uh, PVC uh, tubing on it uh, going to my uh, a handle. This handle, I, I think, I, uh, 
I'll try to make a wooden handle which will uh, which will match uh, the box, but uh, I have to figure it out insulation inside because it's uh, it's a high voltage. I don't want any any leakage on the on the handle, and uh, I put a glass top on it so actually you can have a uh, well actually I can lift I can lift the top. I can show you inside. It's uh, there is a transformer uh, in a corner, ZVS circuit, uh, flyback transformer, there is a spark gap capacitor and uh, right here it's a regulated uh, uh, power supply and uh, so that's uh, pretty much it. I, I think I may uh, if I found one I might add a bigger transformer because this is only 24 it's a small Honeywell uh, transformer uh, which is which is enough for a, a violet ray but actually uh, this uh, this device with a stronger <coughs> stronger transformer could work as a multi-wave oscillator as well with another with another coils and uh, uh, another of these and uh, and the antennas uh, I'll quickly show you how it works. I'm just gonna place this on top so it won't short anywhere. And uh, so that's my main power switch, and uh, I uh, I can regulate the uh, the power supply, so I can change the output. And now you can hear the fans uh, working. I have a uh, one fan over the radiator of uh, power supply and there is another fan I don't know if you can see it, it's under the spark gap so it removes the air uh, from the spark gap and um, I'm gonna start with the low because I found this level about 8 volts uh, uh, I'm getting pretty decent I'm just gonna check if my gap it's Okay, let's fire up. Like the spark up right now, I don't know if you can see it, like it's... It's not much of a spark up, it's very, very... Very, very small. slightly over 8 volts and what I found so far um, there is no there is no discomfort whatsoever I mean if I if I crank the voltage up uh, then I can feel a slight uh, a tingling in my uh, fingers, but I have a thick skin, so it uh, does not affect me really. Um, there is a ozone generation in the area when the, when the uh, probe touches uh, skin, so um, ozone being um, um, oxidizing uh, agent and also antibacterial uh, works pretty well, so. I can I can say that uh, for um, uh, healing wounds and stuff like that, that probably would be good idea, and uh, because also it will uh, disinfect the um, and the healing area to prevent uh, any infection, and also there is a slight warming effect. Uh, um, on the on the contact point, I, I found I, I tried this on myself, and actually it's it's really pleasant. Um, this is of course higher frequency than um, uh, all these modern um, violet ray replication. They work uh, the frequency about 100 kilohertz, and uh, here uh, we are under 
just under one megahertz and also because of the of the spark gap uh, you know we're creating enormous amount of uh, of the harmonic um, uh, frequencies so I'm gonna run some further uh, uh, tests and uh, see what this is really capable of and uh, because it's quite interesting uh, quite interesting device not not difficult to uh, to build and uh, perhaps uh, it could be beneficial uh, for some ailments and conditions if built uh, if built well anyway that's all I uh, I was going to show you for today and uh, see you later with uh, another project thank you for watching